All right, welcome to the antenna. My name is Adam Rush and I'm the host tonight. And uh, thanks for joining us. Um, I'm gonna start off with some poetry and then we're gonna get um, my friend Mike Cesare is gonna play uh, from Yorktown area and living in the city now. And then Tom is gonna do some uh, comedy. So we're gonna have a good night tonight. And uh, if you're interested, you can log into the Zoom. Um, I did post it on the Facebook event page for tonight. So this one is, um, this new piece is relatively new. Uh, most of my process, as far as poetry goes, is um, is that you know it's it's a, like a year long process basically from the point I create it, um, then I um, rewrite, um, do different stuff like that until I eventually get to the final outcome. So let me start. If it cuts out, it cuts out. Uh, I know to have some problems with my streaming before, so. This one's called Social Ghost. We are social ghosts, creating journals in the desolate sunset, a void on auto replenishment, a stake left rusted and driven into the earth, a stain in morphine and illusion. We are social ghosts. Aquatic deep and hazy moon, an umbrella for the fallen down, a cleverly radicalized Nietzsche proper, interaction in your absence. Social ghouls, what a mess to haunt the rest to cut at less. Social ghouls, what a regress to the mass compressed, an invitation to intake. We fill holes between the lines, a jazz that bites the hearts, felt through ruins. We scream at no more lines of communication, no more disabling flashes, no more enabling fascists by the shiny beasts bending down on Topkins Square. Pick yourself up away from the vomits of stale beer in the washed gutters. Social ghouls, what a mess to haunt the rest to cut at less. Social ghosts, what a regress to the mass compressed. A comment on SS, excess. An uneasiness settles on the land. Dried blood not forgotten. Social ghost, tougher skin, layer invincible. Your abstinence breeds insulated masks. I can ride it out, vanishing on side streets, splitting atoms to explode, burning stocks in the market. I object to this theory based on echo impressions from the maps inside and outside, bearing the steep in your mind incline. I will carry these reference points etched in this desertion of memory. Thank you very much. And um, we're gonna get started with Mike going on next. He's um, gonna play some music for us and thanks for listening to the antenna. Take it over, Mike. All right. Thank you very much, Adam. Always a pleasure to hear you uh, speak your wisdom and uh, always a pleasure to be a part of this. Thanks again to the Brookfield Library. I'm going to play a couple songs. Uh, this first one is one that I wrote, and then uh, we'll see where it goes. <clears throat> I woke to the sound of drizzling leaves, stereophonic yard. Those trees are always good to me. Better than an alarm. 
We don't care what day is Going back to the dream You can keep your time to yourself I have my means Why are you the way I am Inside and I Someone you'd never dreamed of don't take me away from here do i make myself clear
you're going to New York, I'm going there. Why don't I come with you? Oh, you've changed to LA. I'm going there. I could get there too. I'm going to say what I need. If it's the last thing I do, I do, I do, I do. I'm in that kind of mood. I'll go under my wing. I'll slide right in between the cracks between you and him. I don't want to go home. Shall we drive from zone to zone? I wouldn't do this on my own. But I'm not on my own tonight. Thank you. Sounds good, Mike. Thanks, bud. Should I keep going or? Yeah, why don't you do another one, Mike? Cool, I got, yeah, I'll do one more. <clears throat> that last uh, little bit there was a James Blake tune. Uh, the first half was my song, it's called Drizzle. Um, I'm going to do another one of those mashups here. This one is an original by me. Coming out with my band Smooch, um, Smooch underscore ya on Instagram. That's coming out sometime soon. It's sounding pretty good these days. So uh, I'm going to play it for you. It's called Four Bars. <clears throat> Only got four bars to break your heart. You're my boss, baby, and I don't go nowhere without you. Through you, I sound all right. Through you, I sound. I know I got your loving, baby. You're holding on to me You need to determine somehow What makes us both complete This sentence, this game There are so many ways to picture your frame But all I can say is There is beauty in the strangest place How could I ever combine it all in the four bars? That break your heart You're my boss, baby And I don't go nowhere without you Through you I sound All right Through you I sound All right Calling all the people here to see the show Calling all my dealers now to let me go I need something, give me something wonderful I believe she won't take me somewhere I'm not supposed to be you can't steal the things that God has given me. No more pain and no more shame and misery. You can't break me down. You can't break me down. You can't break me down. Take me somewhere I'm not supposed to take. Oh, I'll never long stay. Sometimes. 
Sometimes I get the feeling that makes me hesitate. Oh, oh, oh. And I believe she won't take me somewhere I'm not supposed to be. You can't steal the things that God has given me. No more pain and no more shame and misery. Like you did about an hour ago The way you picture me like that It makes me lose control But I like that, I like you I like to watch you do the things you do And I can make it go away Make it go away If I choose If I choose Oh, baby, when you came and stole my microphone I'm thinking I'm about to drop this lady to the floor But I like that, I like you I like to watch you do the things you do But I can make it go away Make it go away I can make it go away I can make it go away I can take it all away if I choose if I choose if I choose four bars 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 got four bars to break your heart you're my boss baby and i don't go nowhere without you through you i sound all right through you i sound all right Right. Thank you. My name is Mike Cesario. Thanks to the Brookfield Library, Adam Rose for having me. Looking forward to Tom's. Uh, Thank you set. very much. Good seeing you as always. Stay always a place. pleasure. Yeah, live out and you're in the city now, right? I'm in the city of Beacon, a little upstate. Oh, Beacon. Yes, sir. Cool. Yeah, I'm working in the city remotely. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. All right, sounds good. Okay, we're gonna get Tom on next. I know uh, Kyle isn't coming yet. Are you ready, Tom, or do you want me to throw a couple poems in there while you? Prepare? I'm ready. I could go. All right, Tom. Why don't you introduce yourself? I know you're gonna be doing comedy, so take it over. The mic's yours. Okay, my name is Tom Padovano. I do comedy, but also, I hope everybody's been okay during this pandemic. Now I've been working the whole time through, but I finally said, boss. Can I work from home? He said, no, you're a doorman. That's a point. <laughs> I've always had crazy bosses, had this one. If I made a mistake, she'd say, Tom, look at the mistake you made. But if she made a mistake, it was, oh, Tom, look at the mistake we made. So I said to her, well, boss, look at the ugly dress we're wearing. Then I had this other boss, a tough guy. Every day he'd say, so, working hard or hardly working? I grabbed his neck and said, well, boss, breathing hard or hardly breathing? I got fired and I hate looking for a job. I went on this interview. They said, Tom, this job pays a thousand a week, but in six months, it goes to 2000 a week. I said, great, I'll come back in six months. <laughs> they told me not to bother. 
And I come from a poor family here in New York City. But every year, my parents sent me to summer camp every January. But let me tell you something. We didn't have much money, but every night, my mother had food on the table. I wish we had plates. It was tough. And you know, when I was a kid, my mom and I didn't get along. When I was seven, I said, Mom, am I adopted? Not yet, but I'm working on it. And then I remember saying, Mommy, I wanted a toy truck for Christmas. Santa didn't get me one. I'm upset. She goes, shut up. You're 40 years old. I still wanted it, you know? Well, you know what it was? My parents were embarrassed by me. I was a terrible student, but I had tough teachers. Like my gym teacher, Mr. Godzilla. I'll tell you how tough he was. During recess, when we played dodgeball, he drove the dodge. Oh, oh, this school week for me was humiliating. My teacher made my parents write on the blackboard 100 times, we won't have more kids. And I wasn't the class clown. I was the class idiot, always getting left back. Do you know what it feels like to be the only kid in third grade excuse for jury duty? Oh, it's terrible. And now I have this terrible apartment. It has a bug problem. It's bad. I tried to open the kitchen cabinet door. It was pulled shut from the other side. Now, the other day, I ran out of raid. So I sprayed a cockroach with furniture polish. It died, but had a great shiny finish. I thought that was pretty cool, you know? Now, my apartment is not as disgusting as the New York subways. And crazy things happen on there. The other day, I'm on a crowded train. This poor old man collapses out of his seat holding his chest. From the other side of the train, this man yells, I'm a doctor, let me through, I'm a doctor. So we let him through and he takes the guy's seat. That's New York for you, you know? Uh, and, and this crazy people there, like I'm standing on the platform. This guy says, do you know what train goes to Coney Island? No, I don't. I do, nah, 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 nah. Nuts. And taking cabs in New York? Oh my God. The cab drivers in New York speak over 60 different languages. Not one of them is English. Absolutely amazing. You know, I think living in this city is making me sick. So I'm looking for a new health plan. There's so many to choose from. You got Blue Cross. You got Blue Shield. You got Blue Velvet. Whoa, whoa. But you know what? I chose IHOP. Yes, International House of Physicians. Well, I love their slogan. If we can't cure you, we will pay for your funeral. Yeah. So they assign me this doctor. Dr. Julio Alejandro Bernstein. Oh, this man is amazing. He examined me for less than five minutes and told me to come back the next day for an autopsy. Oh, well, he got mad at me. I said, doctor, it hurts me when I touch here. Hurts me when I touch here. Hurts me when I touch here. He goes, idiot, you got a broken finger. Who would have thought that? But he said that I need certain help. You know what I mean? So he sends me to the Vincent Van Gogh Mental Health Center and Ear Clinic. But you want to know something? I like it there because I have entertainers coming. Like once they had this hypnotist, he got five of us on stage. We were cackling like chickens, barking like dogs. Then he hypnotized us. Wasn't the same. 
But you know, it's so important to have a good doctor. I feel so early for my neighbor. Her doctor said, Mrs. Sicko, you only have 10 to live. She goes, what do you mean? 10 years, 10 months? He said 10, nine, eight, seven. Oh, that's not nice. Let me tell you something. You want good things to happen for you? You've got to do your part. So important. It's like my uncle Luigi. Now, every Sunday we go to church together. Every Sunday he prays the same prayer. Oh, God, please let me win the lottery. Oh, God, please let me win the lottery. So one day the sky gets dark and a voice says, you want to win the lottery? Do me a favor. Buy a ticket. You got to be in it to win it. Now, I was in a relationship, but my girlfriend dumped me. Wasn't shocked. A couple of days before she did that, I said, honey, while you've been dating me, have you been dating other men? She goes, oh, come on. You're the fifth guy to ask me that today. I'm not good at meeting women. I was at this club. I said to one, hey, babe, what's your sign? Keep off. Oh, it's terrible, you know. So I talked to different women. Now, this one woman said she's looking for her best friend, lover, and partner in crime. I said, three guys? <laughs> I said, I'm sorry, honey. I'm not into that. I'm monotonous. I told her off. I, I tell you, it, it, it's so tough with these, with these women. Oh, this other woman said to me, my last name's hyphenated. I said, mine's Padavano. <laughs> Boy, did she run away fast. But I do remember my first love. And I remember saying to her, oh, Hortense, I know I'm not as smart as Johnny. I'm not as handsome as Johnny. And I don't make as much money as Johnny. But Hortense, I will love you forever. And she said, oh, Tom, that is so sweet. But tell me more about Johnny. <laughs> what I wanted to hear. Oh, so many times I, I hear things I don't want to. I went to the dentist and he said to me, Tom, I don't like the way this looks. And that was before I opened my mouth. It's a terrible thing, you know. I don't know. And this other woman, she was in the waiting room. I'm not sure if she said I was a breath of fresh air or I needed a breath freshener. It's, it's very confusing to me. But you know what? You've been a wonderful audience, extremely quiet, but wonderful. And I sincerely hope that you've had as much fun and pleasure as I've had tension and emotional strain. Oh, don't worry about me. I'll just go back to the Vincent Van Gogh Mental Health Center and ear clinic. And maybe they'll lower the voltage on my shock treatments. Maybe they'll reduce my medication when I tell them that tonight I perform seven minutes of comedy, which should go on my record as completing community service. <laughs> so thank you. Goodbye for now. Thanks a lot, Tom. That was great. Thank really you. That. We tried to get in the laugh sequences, but it, you know, we tried our best. That's okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a couple more poems. Um, Kyle is running late, so I'm not sure if he's going to make it tonight. Um, but um, you know, Mike and Tom, if you guys want to do another set, I was going to just do a couple poems here. If you want to stick around and get on there, and there's no problem with that. Sure. Um, I'm going to do. Um, like I said before, you know. But poetry for me is generally, you know, a, a longer process of at least a year from from thinking about a poem creation, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and a lot of the poems that have happened here during our pandemic you know, are starting to trickle out here. Um, the one I did earlier kind of gets that feel. And this one does too. I'm working on this one for some music 
and um, it's still in kind of the draft stages, but um, I thought I would give it a try here. Um, it's called, I call it Holding Up. And um, I'm just going to read, you know, a couple lines here and there and uh, so you can get a feel for it. And eventually it's going to be a, a video I'm working on with a friend of mine. And we got some music with uh, Jonathan Chapman from uh, Three Legged Dog. He's got the music for this with some trumpet as well. Um, so this goes a little like this. You never fess up, leading us to guess why. Which side of the tracks you lie on. Your quiver could even collect a sum. A feckless bloom in excess. Hiding in dark recess. Nothing left to ravage. Fracked by savages. How you holding up? It is not right. You still have to fight. The sick guardians in the light, holding up the stand for what is right, a government that cuts no slack, busy pinning us to the rack, just because we all back black against the villains of this night. So that's kind of an idea of what I'm getting at. It's, there's a little bit more, but um, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of about the shutdown. But I don't um, so I'm going to read a few other ones. I'm going to I'm going to do a quick shameless plug here. I am going to be performing uh, April 16th as a virtual open mic with all the Connecticut Poet Laureates. Um, we're going to be doing a, every Friday in April except for the last one, and I'll be performing on April 16th. I don't have the time yet, but I will obviously definitely promote it. And then, um, so that's uh, pretty exciting. Um, there's about 40 or 50 of us now, and we're building our ranks. So. I'm going to do, uh, this one's called Optical Therapy, and there is a video of it up on my YouTube page. Atom Rush, A-T-O-M, is the um, location for my YouTube page. This one's called Optical Therapy. Snow angels amazed with sky, wooden fence. Things taken for granted, quiet immunity and freedom. Dust came. Lights elude darkness, candles were kept. Reclaimed by love, universal language, touching sentiment, shared crowd. Then they stoked a calm fire, marking milkmen and storytellers. Mm -hmm. um, Last week, uh, my last, uh, you know, antenna I had performed uh, antonym, which was about um, about um, Sandy Hook. Generally, I will write a poem, uh, to poems as companion pieces, either about the same subject or written around the same time. That was the same subject, so that was another piece of Sandy Hook that I wrote. Um, so um, this next one is called uh, Stick Houses, and it's also on my website, um, uh, atomrush, A-T-O-M, um, dot org is my website, um, as well as on my YouTube channel. There's a video for this one as well. It's called Stick Houses. And um, it's written about um, Brookfield, Connecticut, actually, and the town uh, you know, I live in and grew up in. Um, and, uh, I lived in this house that was around 275 years old. I lived in the attic. And um, this uh, this one was kind of a, a dream sequence I had where a lot of the memories of stuff I did there when I was young, one in particular, um, you know, jaunt I did was I would um, leave and I'd go and get under these really huge pine cone trees and it was really soft and very quiet. And, uh, so, all right, it's called Stick Houses. A thin disguise, barrier in dream, Glazed by mid-leaf. Girl pulse. Cradles invasion. No changes that can be erased. Before saving. Her sharp needles always bleed. A smell in pine barren. Nature's menthol. 
gift-wrapped echelon. Caged in laughter, in shaft of stickled vine, hanging shards in lost holiday glow. Her sharp needles always bleed. A mean reprise, dream and barrier. Anxiety shifts under embryo from within the stick houses. Her sharp words warp from memory, disguised by art, her stakes built in pain. Don't go to sleep. Freddy Krueger is coming for you. Christmas lights cracked to feeling fostered naked to the third eye reveal. The stick houses will burn. And um, so that was a um, video done by uh, Johnny Parks. And that's on my YouTube channel, at the Rush, UTOM. So um, I'm going to get it over to Mike. Mike's gonna jam for us a little bit more. Are you ready, Mike? Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna do uh, another original. I um, like your mashup phrasing. That's cool. That's kind of like- um, I've been getting really deep into the mashups lately. I can't explain it. It's just really fun. It's kind of like a medley, but it's also original. So it's like yeah. 50%. So you should do that. It's like a hybrid. Yeah, and, you know, yeah. and a lot of the covers I do, people don't really know anyway. So it kind of ends up working in my favor. <laughs> it always helps in the beginning but that doesn't, yeah, it's like, what that doesn't is? mean it's going to be that way yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i don't know it's something yeah. something to experiment with definitely all right go ahead now. cool this one's called time turns around let's see if my voice is still around for it <clears throat> <laughs> This house, now these walls surround us, walls surround us. And I'm on the prowl for a roofless terrace, roofless terrace. The wolves can howl, but they're all embarrassed, all embarrassed. In deep ocean now, throwing tides around. Concerned with passing clouds The darkness calls Cause it's got my number Got my number You wander these halls Like when I was younger I was younger Ain't it funny how Our own will contains us Will contains us Creating a plan Let it rearrange us Rearrange us too close to tell Letters that don't spell Going down a well I can't be concerned with those who cannot hear themselves down 
just in case time turns, turns around. Two, Adam. I think I'm handing it over to Tom here to do a second set if he's into that. Sure, no problem. Yeah, Tom, good job, Mike. Thank you guys so much. Always a pleasure. Yeah, Tom, go ahead whenever you're ready. Okay. Hey. Uh, now, I do comedy, but some of you people might recognize me from the movies. I sit by the bathroom. <laughs> I have a sensitive stomach. And you know, I saw a sign in there. It said, in the bathroom, it said, do not throw paper towels into toilet. So I placed them in gently. 
<laughs> I thought that was nice of me. But you know what I hate? When I go to the movies, reach under the seat and find a piece of gum. <laughs> it always tastes terrible. <laughs> Especially when it's sugarless. Leave something nice under there for me to eat. Uh, it, it, it's terrible, you know. And I have some crazy family members like my uncle Chooch. Yeah, a real tough guy. But last time I saw him, he was in a good mood because after 18 years, he got his birthday wish. Parole. A real <laughs> tough guy, I'm telling you. Yeah, but I try to treat him nice. Like I brought him to the doctors, right? I even went in the office with him. So we're walking out and he said, Tom, the, the doctor said, I have ADD. I wasn't listening. That should tell you something, right? And he was telling me this story. A few, well, a few months ago, he was in the hospital. And his wife comes to visit him. And he goes, yo, wife, you were there for me when I had a drinking problem. You were there for me when I was abusing drugs. And now look at this. You're here for me again. So I've been thinking, you're a jinx. Kind of terrible thing is that to say to the one. But his wife is kind of tough too. She trained her pit bull to attack on a three word command. Honey, I'm home. That's not nice. It's really tough, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, 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 I had a crazy dog. I remember for a half hour, we were playing fetch. Boy, can that dog throw a stick? <laughs> I was exhausted. You know what I mean? Oh, goodness. Now, I don't know if I'll ever get married someday, but I've been going to some interesting weddings. I went to one, half Italian and half Jewish. Everything was done 50-50, like they made the men wear yarmulkes. But on the yarmulkes was an ad for Vito's Pizza. <laughs> and you know how at a Jewish ceremony, they have the groom step on the glass? Here the groom was Italian. So he shot it. That was my Uncle Chooch. Amazing. So anyhow, I'm at the wedding. And I looked horrible because I cannot tie a tie to save my life. So some guy I didn't even know comes up to me and says, would you like me to tie your tie for you? I said, yes, thank you. He said, OK, lay down. So I lay down and he ties the tie for me and it looks great. So I said, thank you. But why did you have me lay down? He said, well, I'm an undertaker. Ooh, that was creepy. And, and the suit I was wearing, it was a used suit. Now, I don't know who owned it before I did. But as soon as I put the suit on, it went like this. Oh, that was scary, you know. And have you ever went to a wedding where you have a feeling it's not going to work out for the newly married couple? I had that feeling. Because on top of the wedding cake, they had three figures, three the bride, the groom, and the bride's attorney. That doesn't look good, right? Oh, boy. Well, I am sure you wouldn't be surprised to found I found out I go to a psychologist. Yeah, he's different, though. He has his sessions while he's driving in his car. But if the session isn't going well, he drives backwards and tries reverse psychology. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? And I went to this other psychiatrist for 45 minutes. I'm pouring my heart out to him. And he's doing yo-yo tricks. I don't know. It, 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 it's not easy with me, you know. Uh, but I'm maybe my trouble is I'm very fussy. Like, I'll only go for a certain type of woman, which is basically anyone that'll talk to me. You know, it, it, it's not easy. And I said to this woman, I like everything about you. Everything about you makes me happy. Everything you say to me makes me happy. Every time you look at me, you make me happy. 
And she looked deep in my eyes and said, no hablo inglés. Broke my heart. But that's the way it is sometimes. And thank you once again, Adam, for giving me more time to perform. Adam, are you there? Thank you very much. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> Glad to get the clapping. Very good job, Tom. I really enjoyed it. Thank you very much. We'll, we'll have to get your contact information, you know, through the live. Yeah, could, should I put it in the chat? Yeah, put it in the chat if you want. That'd be great. I'll yeah, be... and I'd like to get yours because maybe I could listen to your uh, open mic in April. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, and great. Maybe, yeah, we'd better check out the one April 16th. Sure, yeah. Send it over in the text. Hey, Tom, okay. how about you uh, share your um, contact info out loud, too, so that the people who are watching on YouTube can get it? Would that be cool, Adam? Because they won't that see would, it. Yeah. Yes. Basically, uh, it's TomComedy at AOL.com. And if you want to see some of my TikTok stuff, it's TomComedy with the number two. TomComedy, too. Oh, nice. Yeah, I haven't tried TikTok out. I haven't tried that yet. But yeah, I just started slowly. I got to do more of it, but yeah. But that's great that you have a YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm lucky I have a lot of people that do videos for me too, so that's really nice. Cool. Um, Very good. But uh, yeah, I have a couple records out too, so. Yeah, so please, you and Michael, please, you know, contact me. Let me know what you're doing and all that. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to read one to finish off here. If there's anybody, I don't think we have anybody else on our Zoom here that's going to be performing tonight. Uh, but we're going to do another one in April. Um, I would roughly say, I think there's five Thursdays in April this month. So um, I'll talk with Rachel and we'll let you know. Um, and um, thanks again for coming out to the antenna. This one is called um, Softly She Breathes. And it's probably best known for one of my oldest, you know, poems ever written. Um, but it's like a, a combination of two poems now because it's evolved over the years. Um, it used to be a poem called Wounds and another one called Sound of Symphonies. Um, and now I've combined the two and I have a video out as well on my YouTube channel for this one as well. Um, this one, we did a couple new tactics that were different than we've done in our other things. Um, I'm getting chased down by a car in one scene and a service road into Milford. It's quite um, thrilling. And um, it's called uh, Softly She Breathes. Sheets of rain, sifting dark concrete, angels flying in morbid patterns, dimming street lights against unfamiliar storm, suspended fireflies disappearing from the night, drowning in sour rain, Softly she breathes, her cigarette words escaping her mouth, invisible demons in forbidden language overcome all reality, empty substance clouds his imagination, mind racing grassy images of past moments of jealous survival. She clings to her addiction, like stale heroism. Trees shivering in the mist, lit up by cars, like zombies, headlights breaking the cool, moist air. A playground, ancient feelings, crucified by children chanting conceived morals of God, hollow, do hollow droplets of pain, faraway windows open, generating cries, deadly creatures of love. A dying art, nothing without words. Softly she breathes. We were sure the beach was abandoned. No lawn chairs or decapitated sandcastles, no torn dreams of a child. A long pier sways gently on the inspired tide. The frozen moon hangs in the stale air, tired and re restless. I held her hand tight to scare away the demons, 
possessing your innocence. We laid down and naked we stared, naked to the world, crowded by screaming eyes. I taste her lip, they were wild with fire, soft as a razor blade, gleaming, bleeding warm. And um, that's a video uh, done by my friend Miles Dupree. Um, and uh, starring in this one is uh, Camille Brown, um, which has been in a couple different videos of mine. Um, and um, the one bef uh, before that, Stick House, uh, was Johnny Parks, was a video uh, collaborator for that. Um, so I'm going to pivot to one last poem here um, to end the night. I want to thank all the performers that came out tonight. April 16th will be the next um, thing for me as Poet Laureate, but we will have another antenna open mic in the month of April. And um, we look forward to opening it up and seeing some people in person and doing some of these events. Um, I feel like we'll, we will keep the, um, you know, the Zoom, the Zoom component I really like. Um, it's kind of modern, you know, dial in open mic. Um, so. This one's are called Ripped. Um, it's gone over a couple different titles over the years. Uh, Fake Facade, Crossroads. It's kind of a, a inside joke with a bunch of my friends from college because um, someone would catch me um, reading the first couple of lines of this poem, you know, after being legally inebriated. Um, so this one is called, um, right now incarnation may be ripped. I've got more rips in me than in my jeans and more concrete in my mind than any foundation or creed. This freedom within you, covering seduction with bitter suction, underneath moth shadow, solutions rage hollow, her words tire, shatter absent matter. I got more rips in me than in my friends and more disaster in my time than any reaction can heed. The resolutions invisible, roped in corrosive garden, inner falsity blooms in echoing night. Shadows always follow her pain to the gallows. I got more rips in me than my Cobain stained shirt, more cynicism in my line than any scroll or tweet. This angst rolled blunt, missing whispers, clawing identity away, artifacts stagger memory she needs to sew, and men skeleton dreams. I've got more rips in me than in my jeans and more concrete in my mind than any foundation or creed. This extended mental landscape, question substance, pain reality, trap door for the insane. Her anger contagious strips all patience. I got more rips in me in my dreams. All right. Again, thanks for uh, listening and uh, thanks for coming out. Thanks, Adam. Thank you for the Bluefield Library. Thank you, Adam. Randy, Michael, and Tom. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. All right. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Nice meeting you, Michael. Yeah, you too. Thank you.